This is what you call a red flag, huge red flag for immigration. When you are in your home country and you're married and you get a visa to come to the United States um, because you're married and you have ties to your home country, of course your wife is going to bring you back home, right? Or your husband, presumably. And so anyway, you then get your visa approval, you leave your country, you come to the United States, uh, quickly divorce the partner back in your home country, uh, or right before you leave your country, you divorce your spouse, and then you come in uh, with the visa, and then um, you quickly marry a U.S. citizen. And in this case, this person says, well, can I get married in the three months' time uh, to a U.S. citizen after, you know, obviously I'm divorced from my spouse back in my country? Be careful with that, guys, because for certain countries, and I've seen how this happens, for certain countries, this is so common and the government slows down cases like this one and really scrutinizes them very carefully because there's a lot of fraud involved in um, situations just like this one. And so certainly um, examine your intent. Is it your intent to get a visa based on the fact that you're married and then divorce that person, come to the United States, quickly marry a U.S. citizen and get a green card through that U.S. citizen. If that's the intent and it is crystal clear to the government based on your pattern of behavior, then your case is going to be slowed down and really examined and you may or may not get the green card. Also, another thing to consider is that if you come to the United States and you marry someone uh, within the 90 days, the first 90 days of being here, the government government is going to think that fraud is involved and they're going to really um, look closely at your case and uh, question your intent when you had gotten that visa to come to the U.S. They will make it a little bit difficult for you to get 